The WVU Women's Basketball Playbook is presented by U.S. Cellular. Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome inside uh, the coach's office here as we stay warm by the fire and talk a little West Virginia women's basketball off to the 9-0 and start, and we're making our way down to Charleston. Coach, always good to get down to the Civic Center, take the show on the road. We're looking forward to a big one against Radford. I know you really enjoy these trips to the capital city. Yeah, I do, and we usually have pretty good crowds, which is great, and uh, I think there'll be a lot of uh, enthusiasm, and uh, it's good to get on the road and, and, and get that. So uh, are the ladies getting uh, the defense, in particular uh, the younger ones, the bench, some of the players that you're trying to nurse along in particular, Destiny Harden, Ashley Jones, Naomi Davenport, and we'll talk about Therese Eckelar here in a moment. Yeah, I think so. They're starting to get it. Like I said earlier, at least they know when they are making a mistake. Before, they didn't know they were making a mistake. Now they know they're making a mistake. So it's just a lot of reps, a lot of situations they have to be put in, and they'll continue to get better. And as far as Ekelar is concerned, this is a transfer from Ohio State, a junior, six foot five. You plan to do what with her, and how will she work into the system? We'll bring her off the bench right now, and uh, but it gives us size. You know, I, we can't teach six five, six six. So she gives us size, which we need in the Big Twelve, which is very important. Uh, plays extremely hard. Going to make a lot of mistakes. This will be her first game really in two years. So she'll make a lot of mistakes, but it's great that she's going to get to play three non-conference games before we get into conference. And you'll utilize her primarily at the five? Uh, only at the five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only at the five. She'll play the five, and that'll give Tiana a chance to move over to the four, and we can get a rotation inside a little bit. That'll really help. So uh, through nine games, you assess this team's progress at, at where? Where are they now? Well, it, it was great when we, we made a run there. We played uh, Virginia Tech, you know, a power five school, and then we went and played uh, Texas A&M, and then we came back and played Pitt. And then now we get in a couple, you know, not, not as strong uh, as teams that are, we're going to play. So what I don't want to do in these type of games is form bad habits and, and, and think we're a lot better than what we are because we still have a lot of work to do. All right, 4 o'clock blast off from the Civic Center in Charleston. We hope you could join us on MSN at 345.